Okay, um, I'm going to discuss the formation of the seven. Uh, I discuss it a lot when we talk about tactical analysis or when I'm trying to explain um, my uh, uh, win connect four strategies. This is basically a shape of a seven. These three here create the top of the seven and then that's the diagonal slash of the seven. I always say seven is the most powerful number in connect four. And the reason why I say that is because when you create a seven, you get a stacked position. And when you have this stacked position, you can march your opponent up and you don't have to wait. You can just force them up into this uh, stacked position so that even if they block this triple diagonal horizontal, they cannot block the, block the one on top of it. Okay? So, um, if you have a safe uh, pathway to it, then you can say, okay, um, say he goes here, and he see, thinks he's still pretty safe, but then I go here. I say, okay, fine. I'm going to march you into my stacked position. Then he has to block here, or he might choose to block here. Otherwise, he loses the game. And after he blocks here, you still win on top of it. That's how you use the seven, okay, the standard seven. And it works the same way whether it's in this direction or whether it's a backward seven from your perspective. It's still a regular seven from the other person's perspective. Um, you can also see that when you have an upside down standard seven or an upside down seven, you will get this stacked position. And if you get this stacked position, it's unblockable, okay, uh, typically. Well, it is blockable. It's blockable, but it's, it's difficult. And it, I, I, that's... This is just a discussion of the formations. If you want to see how um, uh, all my formations can be blocked, you can watch some of the other tutor tutorials. But this is just a discussion of the formations alone, where that's an upside-down 7. That's also an upside-down 7.